it's Alyssa coming at you with another slow fashion video. This week it is still very much winter where I am and I thought I would share today some products that are just really helping me get through this season. Um, some of them were gifted to me, I might have mentioned them several times already, and others are just products that I've been finding to be really useful in terms of getting me through this season and just bringing me joy. So before we jump in, for those of you who are new, welcome. Every week I talk about slow fashion with a heavy focus on the principles of minimalism. So using and loving what you already have and making smart shopping decisions so that you can create a closet full of pieces that you actually love and wear. So if that sounds like your jam, hit subscribe below. I post every Sunday. And for those of you who are coming back, big hello and welcome back. Thank you so, so much for watching. Um, Let's jump right in. Five of my favorite items that are getting me through winter that I really want to share with you because I think, I think you might like them too. <laughs> so the first product that has been so integral in getting me through winter is actually a technical performance product that I wear or that I was wearing for the most part when I run outside in the winter. It is my base layer set of icebreaker merino wool. So someone had asked me when I finished my um, outerwear video at the end of last year. What do you wear to keep warm and what layers do you suggest? And as a base layer, because this is the most important one, it's the one that's closest to your skin, I, I have been loving my Icebreaker Merino. I've been wearing Icebreaker for a couple of years. No, these were not gifted to me. Um, they are not sponsoring this video or paying me in any way to talk about them. I just, this is a brand that I really believe in. I've actually been wearing them as a base layer for everyday winter wear. They are 100% Merino wool. So they are nice and thin and fine. So I can actually wear both the top and the bottoms underneath anything and it still fits really well and I don't feel too bulky. Because it's merino wool, it keeps me super warm, but it also regulates my temperature. So when I'm inside wearing these, I don't overheat. The other thing that I love about merino is that it is a natural fiber. So it is biodegradable and it is made in a very responsible way. What I loved especially about Icebreaker is that it is so transparent on their website. They know exactly where their product is, at what point in the production line, and you can even see a map of their merino farms and click on the location to check when the last time it was audited. It makes me feel a lot better um, wearing something natural against my skin throughout the winter versus something synthetic. So if you live in a colder climate or if you take vacations in cold climates, I would highly recommend this as your base layer. Okay, number two, you've seen this before, my very much loved Power of My People button-down shirt. So I have mentioned this in several videos and when the first time I mentioned this shirt, back when I received it, this was gifted to me. Um, gosh, it was a couple months ago now. It sold out like within, I think, by the next day. So clearly you all loved it as much as I did. Um, and I have to say, the reason why I'm including this as part of my winter favorites is because of the weight of the fabric. I often tend to stop wearing all of my shirts in the winter because they're just like, like this one here even. It's really fine and light and it's great for the warmer temperatures, but not so much when I wanna go outside and be cozy, but I love the look of a shirt. So this one is called the Heroine, which like it really is. It's a wintertime hero for me because it's got a beautiful weight and softness to it, but I still get the look of my beautiful men's button down without being cold. And even better, it's responsibly made in Richmond, BC. I like to wear this best just really on its own. It's got so much weight to it that I don't like to layer it very much. And I like to wear it with the collar popped and the sleeves rolled with some really cool kind of almost like a statement earring to juxtapose the, the men's wear silhouette. And actually there is a discount code for you. So I will link to it down below. This next piece I'm actually wearing right now, it is a beautiful hammered brass bracelet from a company called Chic Made Consciously. Chic Made Consciously is based out of Toronto. This was gifted to me and 
I'm so pleased to be able to share this with you because I had the opportunity to actually meet with and chat with the owner of Chic Made Consciously and she's this super cool young girl, her name's Cassandra. So Cassandra um, sourced this collection from Cambodia and what I love about it, it's called the Golden Collection. So I'm gonna link to everything down below. Every piece in the Golden Collection is made of repurposed brass from unexploded war remnants of landmines and bullet casings in Cambodia. I think pieces like this that really connect us to other realities and other part of the world that were ethically and responsibly made, I just think that that's so special. I've been wearing it as a great little stack with my watches, with other bracelets, and I wear it stacked and clustered when I want a little bit more of a casual, playful look, so more during the day. And then at night, I wear it on its own. All of the pieces that you'll see in the Golden Collection are very much like this. They're very timeless, they're very minimalistic, but also very architectural. So they work on their own just as well as clustered with your other favorite jewelry. Next, I am not a skincare expert by any means, but I, or a beauty person, like it's a good day if I remember to moisturize. Less you do to your face and your hair and your body, for me, the better. Um, but as I'm getting older, I think someone recently so said to me that, uh, you know, oh, I stopped running outside because I don't want to get runner's face. This woman said that your skin, and with all the, I guess, bouncing, <laughs> your skin kind of on your face gets really haggard a lot quicker, so you age a lot faster. And this really scared me because I don't want to stop running. So I asked my girlfriend who is a beauty, she's a pro makeup artist and a beauty expert and she looks phenomenal. She gave me this beautiful tube of Willita cream. It's called Skin Food. So this is usually used for the toughest parts of your body. However, what she said to me, she recommended before I go out for my running, or I think, and I use it even when I'm about to go for a walk or when I know I'm gonna be spending a lot of time outside in the winter, she told me to put, like, to put it on my face as an extra layer of protection from the elements. And then after that, I put on my SPF moisturizer. So that's what I've been doing. And then when I come home, I wash it all off because it is a super heavy and very thick cream. But um, man, it's been so good. They also did a little bit of more research on my own on them and they are Natru certified. So they use a lot of organic ingredients and they use fair trade farming as well for their ingredients. So I am not an expert on skin. If you have questions about this or using this product the way I am, like, I don't know skin types or anything. So um, I'm gonna leave Melody's information down below. She is like a wealth of information. I'm recommending this because I found it really helps for my for dry skin in the winter. Um, but if you've got questions about using it, and she'll be the right person to answer your questions about that. So thank you to my wonderful friend Melody for introducing me to this. Um, hopefully my face in 15 years will thank you as well. <laughs> The last piece that has been getting me through winter is my beautiful away luggage. Because of the crazy weather we've been having, I have to commute a lot into the city and stay overnight. So all the time, like once a week, I'm using my little small carry-on. I've already mentioned my away luggage in some Christmas vlogs when I was using them and traveling with them a little bit at that time. Both of these suitcases were gifted to me and I've really had the chance to test them and use them and I have to say they have become one of my favorite pieces. Why I am strongly recommending them, especially if you're going on like a warm weather vacation, which I really hope you are. Away partners with Peace Direct, which is an NGO that is building peace in areas of conflict around the world. I believe they work in 12 different geographic locations. They work with suppliers who invest in waste reduction practices. And finally, their luggage is guaranteed for life. So, to me, there is no greater testament from a company that says they want us to consume less and only invest in quality pieces than a company who stands behind their product like that. So those suitcases are just as durable and thoughtful as the clothes I put in them. So that is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different from the slow fashion videos that I normally do, but these are really products that I've been relying on throughout this season. 
and I really wanted to share them with you because I have a good connection with all of them. So if you did like this video, let me know. I can put perhaps a summer season one together when that season ever comes. Hopefully it does. Um, but in the meantime, I hope you have an awesome week, a great rest of your Sunday, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Uh, like this video if you did enjoy it or if you learned something. Uh, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I will be back next week with another slow fashion video. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao!